Hello friends and welcome into the Cowboys Report, another at-home edition on this fine college football Saturday. Some roster moves made by the Dallas Cowboys. We'll go in-depth on all of them, but the Cowboys did have to make the numbers work because they have zero kickers and zero active QBs healthy on their roster before today's move. So, the Cowboys have promoted both Cooper Rush and Brett Maher, your starting quarterback for this week at least, and your kicker from the practice squad to the active 53-man roster. Remember, last week they promoted Rush and Maher from the practice squad for game day only. This is to the full 53-man unit. To make room for those two players, the Cowboys have put Terrell Basham on injured reserve with a quad injury. Uh, told it's a thigh contusion. I don't think it's really a four uh, a four week injury. That's the minimum time he has, he has to miss. But you had to make the numbers work somehow, so stashing him on IR a little bit makes more sense there. And then to make room for the other move, the Cowboys have cut rookie fifth-round pick John Ridgway at defensive tackle, which I think might upset a couple people uh, from that standpoint. But the Cowboys were pressed against the, the roster numbers-wise because J. Ron Kurse, Connor McGovern are not set to miss four weeks, and the Cowboys claim at least that Dak Prescott won't miss four weeks either. So because you had to have two two uh, quarterbacks on your roster, remember, you're going to make a game day practice squad call up for Will Greer this week. You had to sign Cooper Rush. You needed Brett Maher, and you need another offensive lineman for your game day roster. We'll break that down more in depth here in, in a little bit. But again, the news here, the, the four Four of the six moves they'll make today are known. We know the fifth, basically. We'll break that down again more in depth here. Cooper Rush, Brett Maher signed to the 53-man roster. And then John Ridgway is released. The Cowboys will try to bring him back to the uh, practice squad if he clears waivers. Again, we'll go more in depth on that in a little bit. Make sure you guys stay tuned for it. And Terrell Basham put on IR. It is Cowboys Bengals in week two of the NFL season. Uh, my wife and her family and most of my family are Bengals fans. Uh, we'll call it the Downey Bowl, and I do not have great confidence in this team with the they looked in week one and with no Dak Prescott. But predict the score for me of this matchup. Cowboys, Bengals, it'll be the pinned comment on today's video. So if the ad break comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know what your score prediction is for Cowboys, Bengals. All right, let's go player by player with these moves here. Then we'll break down the two other moves that, as I sit here from this, and not happen, but we know will happen for Dallas. First up, the promotions. Cooper Rush and Will Greer. Rush is going to be this team's starting quarterback, which, eh, you know, maybe I agree, maybe I don't agree with. Uh, at least in the time being, it's maybe four weeks, maybe it's six, maybe it's still the eight. Who knows? We'll find out. Uh, in September and October, but with Dak not going on IR, with him staying on the active roster, the Cowboys needed to still get two game day quarterbacks up. The ways to do that, sign Cooper Rush to the active roster, and then do a game day promotion of Will Greer for this upcoming game. Now, they can do that three times with, with Will Greer, so if it, Dak misses a fourth game, Something's got to get figured out from that standpoint. We'll see what that is, but that is where the Cowboys sit at the current spot with Cooper Rush now signed to the active roster. Let's split the difference on the games missed. Let's say it's six games missed. How many games will Cooper Rush win in that time frame? Let me know in the comments section how many games you think Rush will win as the Cowboys, I'll call it interim starting QB. Now, we will be live for the cowboys Bengals game. And to keep things fun and interesting, we'll be doing some fun Super Chat menu items, including, got some Skyline here, a uh, Cincinnati delicacy. I will be doing shots of Skyline for various Super Chat amounts. So, some people like Skyline. I actually do. Some people don't. Shots of it, though? Might not be the most entertaining, might be might not be the most delicious thing. Make sure you guys are tuned in. Hit that big red button and subscribe. YouTube.com slash Cowboys TV. We'll be live for Cowboys Bengals, just like we'll be live for every game this season. On to the other signing, Brett Maher. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, you needed a kicker, right? You had to call him up for your game day active roster at some point. Uh, he, he was good in week one. He made his only field goal. You know, wasn't your problem. So I am not immensely confident in Brett Maher. 
I'm also the mindset that you have bigger problems right now than who your kicker is. So Maher is up to the game day active roster. He'll be, or the active roster, not just game day, the full 53-man roster. If he struggles, the Cowboys, you know, can always go ahead and cut him. Uh, let's jump to John Ridgway now. Then we'll get to Terrell Basham, and then we'll break down the injury news and notes and the practice squad call-up still. The, the Cowboys releasing John Ridgway. Their plan is, to be clear, to sneak him back down to the practice squad uh, once he clears waivers. And that will not happen until Monday, uh, around 3 p.m. Central Time, is when waivers will process for players cut today. I think yesterday as well. Uh, it's just to avoid the exact thing the Cowboys are trying to do of, like, no one's going to claim a player on waivers 24 hours before game day. It's not how it works. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. So he is in the waiver process period. Uh, I think he'll clear. Assuming he does, the Cowboys will then add him back to the practice squad and try to continue to develop him. Uh, look, Tristan Hill, Quinton Bohanna, etc., all outplayed John Ridgway this year. He only made the roster because he was a fifth-round pick originally, and they wanted to protect their draft picks. Um, but he didn't, hadn't done much of anything in the preseason and camp. He just kind of been a bit, a bit of a guy. Don't get me wrong; I love the attitude he brings. I'm not out on him as a developmental piece, but Bohanna had emerged as your go-to one technique. Neville Gallimore can play that role, and Tristan Hill had earned himself a roster spot. So because of that, there was no room for for Ridgeway. I do think he'll end up making it though to the practice squad. Now, I know some of you won't, won't like that release, and I get it. Who would you have cut instead, though? Name a player you would have cut to make room for John Ridgeway. I bet we'll get some Josh Balls. As we'll get into, the Cowboys can't really do that right now. Stick around for the end. I'll break down the practice squad call-ups here in a second. But who would you have cut to make room, or instead of cutting John Ridgeway? Let me know in the comment section. All right, last roster move we know of, Terrell Basham. I would with that quad thigh contusion. Uh, at least that's what I've heard the injury is. I don't think this is really a four-week injury. Um, we know that J. Ron Curse, Connor McGovern, the Cowboys think they'll miss fewer than four games, so they're not going on IR. So you got three injured players, and you needed to find roster spots for two guys to sign. Basham, who was a depth piece along the defensive line, ends up being IR'd. Means maybe more Dante Fowler. Maybe more Sam Williams as well. They played a combined 16 snaps in week one. But you had depth at, at edge. Much like you have depth in the interior of the defensive line. Those were two natural spots to make some changes to. All right, let's talk the practice squad promotion now. Will Greer will be one of them. He will be a game day call up from the practice squad. You can do that three different times throughout the year. Week one, it was Rush and Maher. Now, the Cowboys with McGovern banged up are very thin on the offensive line. They have Tyler Smith at left tackle. Matt Farniak will get the start at left guard. Tyler Biotish at center. Uh, Zach Martin at right guard. Then Tyron Smith, or not, excuse me, not Tyron Smith, uh, Terrence Steele at right tackle with Tyron Smith already on IR. Josh Ball and Matt Willetsko are your only other healthy offensive linemen. They are right now on the active game day roster a grand total of seven players deep. That's a lot lighter than the Cowboys ever want to go. And, oh, by the way, none of them are backup interior offensive linemen. So the Cowboys have to promote somebody on that backup interior O-line spot. Two options are Dakota Shepley or Alec Lindstrom. I would bet the Cowboys go with Shepley over Lindstrom, uh, if only because of the fact that, you know what? Lindstrom hasn't played guard, really. Shepley's been, gotten some guard-center combination stuff. So I'm going to bet it's Shepley. We'll see if I end up being right or wrong on that one. If you have not already, folks, please hit that big red button and subscribe. Free Cowboys videos every single day when you hit that big red button and join us.